So wonderful. What a great reception. What an incredible, incredible group of people. We have so many incredible people here. So many wonderful people, such a large crowd, and there are more people who couldn't even come. And it's so great, so great. Now, I don't know where this tax march is. I don't know where it is. But what I do know is that all of you are rain check holders for my inaugural address. That you were the people who were there where the white spots were. Remember all the white spots during the inauguration? And we had to explain that. We had to explain it. We had to explain it. We had to. And so you're all here now to finally, remember American Carnage? It's unbelievable. So much America, and it's even gotten better. How, how are you guys loving the American Carnage now? 85 days of feeling like garbage. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? It's so wonderful. And so many of you support me, and you're here to see me. And I'm so pleased. Is the wind dying down now? It's like baseball's opening day, but a rain check. Now, excuse me, satire is the heart of political discourse. So it is a joke. And I'm the biggest joke on the block. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now, first off, what's the big deal about my taxes? Okay, since you guys are my supporters, I'm gonna share with you what's on my taxes. Because this is between us, okay? Don't let the protesters know what I'm gonna tell you. So what, I owe $50 million to Deutsche Bank? Who cares? Who cares? That's publicly known. But what you don't know is I know where all the Nazi gold is hidden in Switzerland. And I have it, and I have it. I have it, I have it, I have it. Just because I have dirty ties to Azerbaijan, I have so many ties to Azerbaijan. I have ties to Russia, and Russia tells me this all the time. They say I'm a great asset. A great asset. And then I became a great asset in the late 80s when I extended my finances to own illegal poker rooms in New York City, when I started selling properties way over the budget margin for cash so that I could hide Russian money in the United States. And now I got all the way to the presidency as the Russians are keeping me on a short lease because I'm a dog. But what you don't know in my tax returns is I have the original uncut David Hasselhoff video of him eating a burger off the floor. Remember that? Remember that? And we just ended the visitor logs. No more visitor logs. We're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. No more visitor logs, okay? Okay, we're not running a B and b we're not running a B and B. Barack Obama ran a B and B. He was the Bob Newhart of Washington D.C. But that sitcom's over, and now Faulty Towers is here. And I run a hotel, and hotels are places where you anonymously go to get peed on. Okay? That's what you do. That's what I do. I do it all the time, and I love it. I love it. I love every bit of it. So if we want to release the tax returns, if we want to release the tax returns, we can do it. Boys, let's get the taxes. Where are they? What's the big deal about releasing my tax returns? First off, I claim Ivanka as three dependents. My daughter, my mother, and my wife. We're gonna have the first White House divorce, I guarantee you. First White House divorce. Aren't you glad I'm not in Mar-a-Lago today? So we have these taxes and we're gonna release them. And I want you to know that everyone can look at them now and we're all even, right? Am I now a good president? No. Even if I release my tax returns? No. That's right. Because no matter what I do, remember this, I am a prop. I am a brand less than a human being. And the truth is, excuse me, I'm a brand, not a tool. I'm a brand, I'm a brand. Let me do my own material, please. Let me do my own material. 
And I'm not the real guy. Save it for the real guy. <laughs> Save it for the real guy. Okay? But remember this. Just, I'm the United Airlines of presidents. <laughs> and remember that the other airlines are just as bad. So if you remove me, we have 40 years of people corruptly manipulating the system back here, over there, and all around this country to screw you out of your own interests. Very important. And I like screwing, but not that way. So you need to make sure it's so important that you don't just focus on me, but on the system that put me in place. Let's remember that. Let's look at you're cheering for me. Isn't this weird? It must make everyone so uncomfortable. What do we do? So let's release them, boys. Release the taxes. There we go. There we go. Releasing the taxes. I told Jared to shred my taxes, but I thought shred was Yiddish for collate. We're going to make America great again, folks when I leave office, hopefully next week. Thank you so much. There we go.